This is Glendon Cameron. Welcome to 30 Days to $2,500. It is the 20th day, which means we are finishing up the second leg. And I figured I would end the second leg because I actually moved something up that was actually going to come later. Because, I'm, like I said, this is beta. We're moving stuff around. We're doing stuff a little differently. But I'm really, really excited. So, with that, this is how it goes if this is your first time here. I'll do the presentation first, and then I'll answer any questions. So if I say something during the presentation, just go ahead and put your question there, and then in rapid fire order, I'll hit your questions up, because today is going to be special. It's going to be very, very special. So welcome. I appreciate your presence on this Friday, and I'm not going to hold you too long, because this one's going to be a burner. Okay, if you're new here, you're going to need a sheet of paper, pen or pencil, calendar, or your iPad or your phone to take notes, and position yourself for the task. 30 days to $2,500 is an action-oriented course. It's not where I'm going to sit here and go blah, 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 and you go, yay. No, I'm going to say this, then boom, we're going to jump into some stuff. And like, since this is the 20th day, special, so I'm doing something special since it's the special 20th day. I'm zooted, okay? I am crunk on chocolate-covered almonds. I had some, and I think I'm a little hype. But with that, Let's go to it. I need your word. I pledge to make myself better today than I was yesterday. Day by day, I will become the hustler I know I can be. I am all in. Day 20, starting a business in 24 hours. Uh, if you've been here the last 19 days, you know the format's about to change a little bit, and this is going to be a lot of fun. We're about to go into overdrive. Now, what's overdrive? We're going to crank up the intensity. We're going to crank up the action. We're going to really push for the stars. Okay, what you're going to do, as you can see, you're starting a business in 24 hours. Yes. Now, there's some prep work. Uh, this will not be a current business. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, no, no current business. You're going to be starting from scratch. Now, this, now, for those of you who are new, you're kind of at a disadvantage because during the first leg, the first 10 days, we talked about this, how to develop ideals, how to create lists. So you would pull from those ideals from those lists. So if you did the exercises, you have, should have a ton of ideals. Now, this is the rub. It's just an experiment for you to see what you can do in 24 hours. Uh, some people are going to fail massively. Some people are going to discover hidden superpowers they didn't even know they had. Because the thing is, this exercise is designed to get you comfortable with risk and taking chances. And I'm going to create my own project. So if you're on the mailing list, you'll hear from me. But with that, let's just roll on to it. At this juncture, you should have a customer list. You should know how to pitch. You should have this. You should have this because this is day 20. So, just like the little green dude there, I'm rubbing my hands together saying, yeah. Now, if you have a customer list, it doesn't matter how big it is. Because I'm thinking, you know, even the average person knows 250 people. The average person. Some people know 500. Some people know a few thousand. So, you should have a list and you should be comfortable with pitching. What you're going to do from pulling from your list, you're going to create a new product or service. Something that you want to do. This may be something that you thought about doing. This may be something that uh, you potentially want to do, but it was like, well, other things came up. You guys understand, the goal is once you get prepped, because you know, we're not, you know, just 24 hours, you're going to start a business. And I'm going to give you a big, big push here. Very, very big push. So it could be a product, it could be a service. If you want to make stuff, throw pillows, whatever, you know, it, it it's on you. That's the beauty of this course. This course isn't going to teach you how to run a certain type of business. This course is going to teach you how to craft, create, and start any business. That is the power of this course. We have people who are at, you know, 27,000. We have people at 24,000. Now, these were people who had established businesses and they used the methodologies the techniques to crank it up. So understand, this is a lot of great information here. Okay, this is your pitch. <laughs> I 
I am taking the course. I'm going to give you more on that later because that helps a lot when you just say, you know, if you ever walk up to someone and you can do this because I actually did it because I see people on YouTube doing this stuff all the time. Like they're walking around and they have someone following them on the camera. And if they just say these magic words, oh, I'm doing this for school. Everyone gets real comfortable with the cameras. But if they don't say those magic words, people are like, what the hell are you doing? What are you up to? You're looking shady. You're looking suspicious. So a good pitch or a good reason calms everyone down. So this is, uh, I'm going to give you that in a minute. But you're going to hold a raffle. Yep. And your ticket prices are 5 to $10 for your service, regardless of what you charge for your product. If your product is $100, you're still going to hold this raffle for 5 to 10 bucks, regardless of the cost of your product or service. And there's a reason. I'll, I'll break it down to you. Now, this is your pitch. I'm taking this course and, hi, my name is Success. We're going to call you Success today. Today is Successful Friday. Your name is Success. I'm taking this course 30 days to $2,500. This is one of the challenges of the course. I want you to be part of the fun. Please buy a raffle ticket for blank and may the force be with you, signed by you, Success. That's what you're going to send out to your list. And, want you know, with the description of your product or whatever, keep it brief. Because, see, this is the thing, and I've done this before, and we'll do it again. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up in the end. There can only be one winner. See, this is the product, because this is one of the things that I had to wrap my head around in doing this. The raffle will go on for one week whenever you start. You know, the 24 hours is to start the business. It's not, you know, to start it. And let's talk about how you're going to get paid. You have to be careful. If you, you're going to have, once again, you're going to have to use magic words. Like if you use PayPal, you're going to have to use the word donation. Because in many states, raffles are illegal. Now, to help you be compliant with the law, say, this is like when I did my thing on YouTube with the, you know, 30-day challenge, you know, instead of asking for money for nothing, I was like, well, you know, if you donate a dollar or two, whatever, I'm also going to send you an ebook. So they got something. So it wasn't just like, oh, you were just giving you money. So you can change up the words. Like you can say raffle on your email list because you're, you're communicating directly to your customers. But if you're using the part, third party platform such as Facebook or YouTube or anything like that, use the word donation and be very clear in your explanation of what you're doing. Because some people get weird about it. And think of something that you can give away. Free audiobook, ebook, something you can get your hands on real cheap. Really, really cheap. Now, if you got a good list, it's not going to be such a problem. But when if you use any one of the third-party platforms to market this, you got to be very, very careful. So that's why it is important for you to build a list. Because you can do so much on your list that you cannot do on these third-party platforms. Now, you're going to yell it. Everybody, now I love this kid. This kid is so freaking cute. It's ridiculous. Yo mama so poor she washes paper plates. I've never heard that one, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Actually, I haven't thought about putting that kid as my uh, Facebook profile picture because he's freaking adorable. Or she, I don't know. But it's a cute kid. But you will send this offer out to your list, your mama, your friends, Facebook, Twitter, etc. You're sending this out to everybody. And you're going to do it again. Now, you're gonna, yeah, you're going to take shots every freaking day. Now, this is where having what we discussed earlier, having an email client. When you have an email client, you send out the first email, right? And the people who open it up the first time, you don't send the email to them. You keep sending the email and you keep changing it and send it to the people who don't open up the emails. That's why you need an email client because you can't do this with your just regular email list, which you send from your because you don't get the metrics, you don't get the analysis, you don't get the bounces. That's why you need an email client. So day one, you send it to everybody. Then the people who open, you don't send it to them anymore. Then day two, you send it to folks who didn't. But you send a different email. You send something a little different. So this is going to force you to think of different ways to market your business. Come up with creative ways to say something a little different each day. Because you're going to send it out every freaking day. But once again, with an email client, the people who open, they go, yay, or they go, no, we don't want this shit. Then, you know, you go on and on and on and on. Now, what's going to happen? Some people are going to uh, unsubscribe from your list, which is cool. 
which is cool because the thing is you should always be growing your list. <laughs> always. I get unsubscribes when I send out two emails. It's going to happen. Just letting you know. But the more emails I send out, the more money I make. There's a direct correlation between the two. And the emails don't have to be about sales, but they have to be about something relevant to what you're doing. So understand that that's coming. And on the eighth day, you will announce the winner. You could do it on YouTube. You could do it on Facebook. You can call a person up if you want to, whatever, and just say, hey, you know, you won the prize. Then that's simple stuff. Now, if you do it on YouTube, make sure that you keyword it just properly because if you do it on YouTube, you're going to need two videos. You're going to need one video announcing, then another one announcing the winner, but there has to be some fanfare. I've watched people do contests on YouTube a lot, and the first video gets a lot of hits, but people don't really give a damn about who won if it wasn't them. So it gets kind of interesting, but in keeping with the integrity of your offer, you'll let people know. So definitely think about that. Now, this is the magic. This is the jelly bean here. After you do all that, and once again, you'll need the email client, such as MailChimp, Aweber, get, you know, I use uh, GetResponse. You're going to look at the metrics and you're going to say, like, how many people bought a ticket? What days were better than others? So you're going to get the information that's going to let you know a lot of things about your product that you would never get if you didn't introduce the product. So you're like, what days were better? You're just like... You're going to do a little, pull out your pencil, put it in the paper, and do a little analysis and crunch a few numbers. Then, on the ninth day or later, you will develop a plan and a pricing strategy for selling the product or service. Now, this is what's a very quick way to develop a business plan. Because most business plans are like Moby Dick, great works of fiction. You're just making you're a lot of assumptions. But with this... You'll have numbers, you'll have feedback. And some of you may have to, once you introduce your product, and it's like the crowd goes, boo. You'll have to say, okay, bam, I'm gonna do this. So you introduce another product. And if that one doesn't work, you introduce another product. And if that doesn't work, you introduce another product. You see where I'm going? I have started 10 businesses. The first five were turkeys. Is it humiliating? Yes, it is. But it builds two things, your knowledge base and character. It definitely does. So, you know, see, that's one of the things. You, you, there's no getting out of this stuff because if the first way doesn't work, we're going to go to the side. If the second, we're going to go under. We're going to go over. We're going to go. We're going to do whatever we have to do to get it done. And then on the tenth day later, you'll send out the new offer because you are the CEO. <laughs> As you can see, this day is totally different. It's a, it's a total challenge. I decided to do it today because today is Friday. It gives you the weekend to prepare to kind of think about what you're going to do and hopefully get your offer out Sunday or Monday. So that's one of the reasons I did Like I said, this one I knew would take a lot of time, and that's why we're done. Like I said, I, I wasn't keeping you here long because I knew that this was going to entail a lot of stuff. So... If anyone has a question, <laughs> yeah, I know this is the fastest webinar I ever did. And there's a reason I'm doing it fast because I want you to get started on it. So with that, I'm going over here to the questions. And I don't know what that means. Uh, RC is at 24577. He jumped that up quick. Uh, hey, Glendon. Oh, Greg. I said I would send my question in early. If I want to write a book under a fake name, how can I still get paid under my government name? Oh, Greg, 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 that's easy. Amazon gives you, the, all right, this is how books work. Essentially, when you sign over Kindle or Amazon or CreateSpace, you are the publisher. You can copyright that book and put any name on the cover that you want. And when the check comes in or the deposit to your bank account, it goes to the corporation. See, you could pimp yourself out on the, all right, I've got four pen names. Three, I never tell anybody because now I even go into a why I don't even tell people about my pen names because people are like, oh, you're just being mean. When I got into some BS on YouTube, I had people go to Amazon and deliberately give me bad reviews. And it kind of skewed up some things because a bad review will hurt you. And a lot of people are like, oh, bad review. Yeah, it will. I saw the impact. 
I wanted these books to grow and find their audience on their own without my haters going over there, leaving bad, because they will. I mean, actually, most days of this webinar, I've had haters. I just ignored their questions. They spent their time to come here and talk smack, and it was just pointless because no one saw their questions, and I didn't answer them, and I just kept moving on. So, essentially, answer a question is very easy. It's the system is just set up. You can create your company, Greg B. Publishing. You can have the title, the author of the book, The Wolf Howls at the Moon, and you will still get paid under your government name. It's ex extremely easy. Uh, Leslie Ann. Glennon, I freaking hate you today. I've been listening and doing the exercises. I got interested in the soap, listening about the soap lady selling. I went to Joanne's pretending to be the soap lady. I sold 20 non-existent bars, and I have never made a bar in my life. Holy crap! <laughs> Now I gotta learn how to make soap or make it really good. <laughs> okay, let's let's break that down. Leslie Ann has sold a product and has orders for something she doesn't even have. That came from the first 10 days. See, this is what I'm talking about. She has money waiting on her to create the product. Freaking awesome. Uh David, how did you come up with this? Are you familiar with the 24-hour challenges on AppSumo? I actually came up with this from the Y, the Y generator out in Silicon Valley. They have a weekend competition where you have to create a business plan, create a product, and then you pitch it on Monday. So I, this is where I got that from. Oh God, this the Y. It was it was like the first entrepreneur incubator where they would like throw twenty grand at like ten or twenty different companies because it was just like. Arbitrage investing, really. Uh, Dwayne, this one is for me. I can wrap off my services to my commercial customers, offer them a discount for any tickets I tell to any other potentials they refer to me. I see people thinking it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, check out Y Combinator. Uh, I cannot remember the guy's name, but it was like the first mass. Because they're all over the place now, but he was the first one to do it. And I think Twitter came out of that. I think a lot of stuff that you know about came from that. Uh, actually, why am I, why am I even? Because, you know, like I said, this is quick. Uh, so I can give it why. Yep, I, I was right. So 2005, uh, you know, we get a little chance. It, it, it's just crazy. Uh, let's see. They read it, scribbed, drop Dropbox. Bam! I use I love Dropbox. It's freaking awesome. Discus. Uh, what else I've heard of? Airbnb. Stripe. I use Stripe. Carpool. Damn. Rap Genius. Code Academy. So all of these companies were created in a weekend. Well, there was a contest. They were created in the weekend. They pitched and they got $20,000 from um, this guy. Let's see. Where is it? Because, uh, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, bore you with this, but this is where I got it from. Because this came from, uh, yeah, 14 to 20K with an $80,000 note. Uh, 68 companies have come from this because what this does is forces you to strip out the bullshit. You got 24 hours. You can't like, oh, we no. It's like, okay, you're only going to do the essential stuff. This is this is killer. This is the same thing that I use to create this course you're taking. That's how powerful it is. I, I mean, it's freaking awesome. But yeah, check that out because you. I didn't know that a lot of the companies that I use actually came from that. I knew of a few, but I didn't know that many. Uh, Greg B. Uh, let cats know that I started my own 30-day program with your system back in December of 2013. I actively started using the info during the last week of April 2000. Now I'm here a year later, changing my company from what it was a year ago, moving into the final station of transitions. Thanks to you. <laughs> Danica. Awesome idea. The last time I did a raffle like this for everyone who lost their raffle, I instantly sent them an email offering them the same product at 25% off. 
See, <laughs> I got nothing but hustlers in the room. Since they didn't win it, even though the product was selling at full price on the website, they felt like they were getting some sort of club member price and bought the product even though they already paid for a raffle ticket and lost. And who said pimping was dead? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Let's see. Steven, I'll be hand forging beer openers to mark up his crazy and I have a lot of possible add-ons for future sales. Uh, Byron, I just signed up for a Lifetime and they mentioned something about nine files. Uh, when I get out the webinar, I'll look into that for you. Greg B, American Pimp. I'm, I mean, seriously. It's these, these little, look, I'm going to tell you when I started really being successful, when I stopped making business more complicated than it had to be. Because you, you know, like what we talked about earlier about when the L, you know, to incorporate. You incorporate when you're making money unless you have a business. And actually, that's going to be part of this course. We're going to talk about that in more depth. That's making money. You know, if you're making money, then it makes sense. If you're not making money, you're just throwing money away. I know so many people who incorporated, spent six, seven, eight hundred bucks to look good and never did shit with it. Great for the company that did incorporations, but not so great for the people. Uh, Josh, can you elaborate on scrapping metal in the storage auction business? What item did you choose to scrap? Uh, I got you don't want to hear this, Josh, but when I was doing this, because uh, this was done like a few days ago, I am going to do a special storage auction webinar series. So that's coming. Look for that because I'm going to answer all those questions and uh, we are going to rock and roll with that. That's coming up real soon. When I say there's going to be a ton of stuff in Hustler University, in 2014, I wasn't kidding. I mean, a lot of stuff. So, any questions about this challenge? Because I got to come up, I've got my sheet, and I've got like four ideals on there. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing. So, you will be seeing whatever I come up with. And it's going to be something that I'm not doing. So, I got to be like, okay, what the hell can I do? So, <laughs> I got to come up with my own thing. And, I'm, you know, actually, I'm pretty excited. I am pretty excited because the thing about this stuff is it gets your blood pumping. It gets you re-engaged with your business because it brings a certain level of anxiety, but it brings a lot of excitement. I know someone, one of my uh, webinars, not one of my webinars, but one of my consulting clients, uh, I had him do this and uh, he had a very high price point item. He ended up making $36,000 from that idea. He loves me a long time. He said he never in his life would have did anything like that if it wasn't for me. He's, he just thought that was just so beneath him. He's trying to do that shit every quarter now. <laughs> uh, David, you did t-shirts a while back as a test. Is that something you'll do again? T-shirts, maybe. See, the problem with t-shirts is the manufacturing and distribution. If you get seamless distribution, you get... You, it kind of sucks on the uh, profit tip. And if you get max profit, then you have to go out and print shirts up. So I really did it as a test because, you know, I'm always doing stuff. If I do it again, it's pretty much going to be an add-on to something I'm doing because the T-shirts business can be awesome on its own. But from my research, you're just going to do better if you are making them if you got something a little different and you got a good margin like you're selling your t-shirts for 30 40 bucks it's going to be much better because the competition is insane uh jasmine okay just got in so it's a challenge you have to join by the 28th when is the next i'm not quite sure i understand your question um Can you go back to the slide with the email? What email? You lost me. I don't think there was an email. Not to my... Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. I know what you're talking about. It's not the, it's the pitch. Here we go. That's what you're talking about. Sorry about that. I'm a little zooted right now. It's been an exciting day. All right. So, you know, you're in 30 days. This is going to be recorded and uploaded into 30 days tonight or early in the morning. Just letting you know that. 
So, oh, um, why come and they? That's I don't. You just go to their website and ask them about it, because this is something they've been doing since 2005. So this is like ninth year. Just I have no idea how they operate. I just thought it was really, really fascinating what they were doing because I remember reading about it in like 2006. And I was just like, man, this is freaking awesome that people are creating companies on the weekend. Yeah, just go to their website. I mean, bam, there it is. And just poke around. Now, this thing is for you that I'm doing. I mean, it's totally different because, you know, you're, you're trying to make money out of nothing. Because you can actually come up with a product or service you don't have and still do the raffle. And use the money that you get from the raffle to create the product or service. Okay, that looks like it. And like I said, this is real short because I want you guys to get started. You know, you got the whole weekend. And for those of you who are in Hustle University or in the 30 days to $2,500 Facebook group, I'm going to record. This is being recorded as we speak. And you'll have access to this later on night or first thing in the morning. So I'm going to check. That's the pitch thing. Uh, Dwayne, I need to offer my commercial clients and everyone on my list something new that they don't realize how badly they need. And then realize I can provide for them. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, have fun with this stuff. It, it, it's just like... I got to say, you know, I want to say thanks to everybody that's been here for the last 20 days, you know, because there's been a lot of you. And I really, really appreciate that. This has been a lot of fun for me. This has been an incredible amount of fun. It's made me look at my business differently. And understand, I came up with this in like, you know, a weekend and next week I was doing it. You know, um, I thought about it for a while. I should say I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it. But then I had to really, really think about how the heck am I going to do this because... I didn't want it to be boring, but I also wanted it to be useful. I didn't want you to just come here every day and get nothing. I wanted you to be able to take something from this webinar and go out and do something and either A, improve your life, making yourself happier, create better relationships, and ultimately make more money. And based on the numbers that some of you have sent me and sharing with me, this is a winning company. This thing is working way better than I thought. Okay. So this will be the shortest webinar because <laughs> it's a long task. And like I said, if you want to start from scratch, this is how you get in. All right, what the heck? Here we go. This is how you get in. You have the lifetime membership, which at 5 p.m. is going up to $400. It's currently $299, 300 bucks. It's going up to 400 bucks. Monthly staying the same. If you do hate Facebook, you can go to the Hustler. You can go here per month. Just sign up. And that's how you get into the recorded webinars. Yep. Keep hammering how to teach old dogs new tricks. Have a great weekend. I am because I'm going to be working on my thing. So with that, it's 428. This is the shortest webinar I've ever done since we started this because it's a different kind of task. And uh, I'll see you good folks Monday. There's nothing this weekend. I stopped doing them on the weekends because people were getting behind too quick. But I will be here again Monday, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And you'll get the emails. All right, this is Glendon. Thanks for coming out. You have a great weekend. And I'll see you on the other side. The good side, that is. The organizer has ended the session. And this call will be disconnected. Goodbye. I don't know what the heck. All right. I think I put that folder in. There.